Where are we at with Julian's extradition? So he's, I, this is his last, is this the last attempt to halt the extradition? Is he in his last? So uh, it's, unfortunately, there's not a simple answer to any of this. Um, the, uh, basically, what happened was Julian's extradition um, uh, hearing that uh, was initially, that was in 2020, um, was initially granted just on the basis of um, uh, that he was a suicide risk. And all of the political defenses to extradition were um, disregarded by the uh, magistrate, ju- the district judge at that point, and um, and then that decision was overturned on the first appeal, and the overturning of that decision was um, ratified by the Home Office, who then basically ordered Julian's extradition. So what 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 the UK lawyers are doing now is appealing the. Um, they have a right to appeal the district judge's decision on all the points that she had rejected um, because those hadn't been entertained yet in the previous appeal that had been brought, which was the basis for the extradition decision that had happened. Um, so this is a re- this could be a really, really interesting hearing um, if they let it happen. The appeal is basically um, primarily the crux of it is the fact that um, the UK Extradition Act, um, like many others um, in other countries, uh, basically it, it forbids, uh, pro- uh, prohibits extradition if it can be shown uh, that the purpose of the extradition is to punish someone on account of their political beliefs um, or opinions. And um, in this case, it's so clear that you know uh, Julian Assange's political uh, mission is to expose war crimes, uh, particularly of the U.S. and U.K. governments, um, and um, although by no means exclusively, and uh, that this is a this is a vendetta. So um, the uh, what happened was in uh, June of this year, a uh, you need ha- you need to have permission to appeal to the High Court, and. Um, Julian's lawyers had submitted a 150-page, incredibly well-argued uh, appeal and um, and showing all the basis for the appeal and all the basis on which the lower court had made a bad decision. A single judge rejected that um, a- application and just didn't, not, not on its merits, but just said this isn't worth hearing, um, which is absurd because there's an obligation to hear um a uh, appeal where matters of public interest um, are at play. That's one of the the, the bases for appeal under UK law. So um, the uh, Julian's lawyers then appealed that refusal to permit the substantive appeal. And that's actually what's happening February 20th and 21st of this year, 2024. There's going to be a hearing, which is really just argument by the, the there's no evidence going to be presented it's argument by the lawyers for the government and the lawyers for um julian assange uh to argue why the appeal should or should not be heard in the first place so if that um is granted then the the full on the appeal if that permission to appeal is granted then um and that's going to be heard by two two high court judges. Mm-hmm. Then there'll be a full hearing on the appeal on the substantive points in the appeal down the line. Um, so the concern is that there, there's just every effort to prevent um, Julian from being able to air in an open court all of the um, atrocities that have been perpetrated against him in right. the course of this proceeding. Okay, so at this point he is set to be extradited. They've they and so this is an appeal. What they're trying to do is appeal the extradition, right? Exactly. At this okay. point, they're getting permission, trying to get a permission to appeal. So if they lose that, yeah. um, um, he really he could be extradited immediately. And there is some hope that there could be an appeal to the um, European court. Um, but uh, especially since Brexit, but honestly, even before then, the British government didn't pay much mind to what the European right. court said or did. Right. So um, right. I don't know that that would stay or you know prevent even yeah. temporarily the execution, even if they execution. Yeah, well, <laughs> not um, the uh, uh, extradition, even if um, they take up the case. Uh, yeah. But that you know that's that's an avenue that will certainly be pursued. Um, but it's very dire. If this uh, doesn't get heard, um, he, he'll be here, you know, within months. I would imagine. Right. Okay. 
So, um, and then if he does, if they, if the request to appeal is granted, then do we have any idea of how long it takes for that appeal process for the actual hearing, for the appeal itself? No, a, a date would probably be set, um, but it could be it could be six months hence. It could be quick if they want to do it quickly. It's all at okay. their uh, discretion. Okay. But we're getting down to the wire here, ultimately. I mean, this is – and if they if they say, okay, we're not going to extradite him, then what happens? So if they – let's say he the, – the hearing's granted. Six months from now, they do the appeal for the extradition. He wins, and he's not going to be extradited to the United States. Is he a free man at that point? Yes. Uh, I mean, he'd be unwise to stay in the UK because the UK has already demonstrated that it's uh, friendly to the US government and the US government will probably try to get him on something else. Um, but he would be a free man for at least that moment. And um, he could then go to somewhere that would be a little safer for him, probably back to Australia. Well, unless the Australians are going to extradite him to the United States. I mean, would they do that, do you think? I don't think they would do that um, okay. because, I mean, it's it's one thing not being able to get them to drop it. It's another thing. And the, the Julian has a lot of support there. I think that would be very difficult for them to do okay. internally, politically. Okay. Um, yeah. But there's other European countries that are um, friendlier too. So, Yeah. So he'd have to like beam out of the UK almost immediately if that, if he was granted that um, or, or, or they said, we're not going to extradite him. Um, otherwise, I mean, uh, w the chances of that though, seem slim uh, with the way that this case has gone with how long it's taken uh, and it seems like the UK doesn't want to upset the United States and the United States clearly like, look, if the U S is going to plot to kill the guy, cause they think he's that dangerous or they're that angry with him. I have a hard time believing that the UK is going to prevent his extradition. It's tricky. Cause I, I don't think that the U S government really wants a hearing here. I mean, I think people would take, if there was a trial on this, I think that, I think I would hope that the mainstream media would get a lot more uh, engaged. Okay. Um, so Good I point. sort of, you know, the, the sort of received wisdom is they just want him to rot in jail. And um, the, uh, so uh, it, it's really anyone's guess. I, I imagine all of these decisions are made behind closed doors. I yeah. don't think anything actually happens based on what's said or isn't said in the courtroom. Right. But you bring up a good point. I mean, it's it would be very bad optics for the United States to bring him here and then put this guy on trial, this journalist or this publisher on trial. It would be very. It, it, and I do think that at that point, there would be an outpouring of support from the media, maybe not the security state apparatus within the media, but the rest of the journalists, I think, would say, wait a minute, what is going on here? This is a huge violation of our ability to publish documents that were that were given uh, and so there would be, I think, a lot of it would be publicly for the United States, uh, very embarrassing and very, very tricky. So I think you have you make a really good point that they probably don't really want him here, which is why this has gone through now three presidents. Right. So you had Obama that refused to to do really anything about it, and let him just hide in the Ecuadorian uh, embassy. And then you had Trump that actually said, no, we're going to go for it because he had Mike Pompeo, who had the clear vendetta. Uh, but then Biden, what is, I mean, Biden could have just said, all right, never mind. But he's not saying never mind. So. Well, we have two wars going on right now that we're actively supporting. Um, so it's uh, difficult to, even for Biden in this environment, to, um, you know, release someone who's so critical of our, and exposes uh, U.S., you know, war war crimes. And, you know, also the, 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 um, the arms a dealing lobby and the gun, you know, there's just a lot of uh, political pressure. I would, I imagine, um, to not look uh, weak on this particular issue, which is how it might be perceived. Um, principles don't seem to, I mean, Obama, to his credit, did sort of, he didn't like Julian either. Nobody in the government, nobody in any government around the world. Um, right. is is a fan of Julian Assange, but um, because he's all for transparency and disclose and uh, and lets people know what they're up to. Um, but um, but he, he, you know, Obama as a sort of intelligent lawyer realized that this would be an appalling precedent and they couldn't go that way. Um, you know, Clinton hated uh, Julian. She she asked if he could be droned um, when she was secretary of state. Uh, Biden was buddies with both of them. So I, I don't think Biden actually, you know, is a fan of Julian's. And we haven't, you know, seen a lot of mainstream Democrats showing any interest in this case.
Right. Um, it's it's just it's an abomination. We're just uh, we supposedly care about the First Amendment and we are letting it get. We right. talk about Trump being the one who's destroying our constitution and destroying our right, our liberties and our democracy. And to me, the first, you know, the fourth estate is the most important. The account of government accountability that the press brings to account is um, the most uh, important protection we have uh, against a corrupt government. And the Democrats are just as bad.